today we're gonna look at a sunrise and sunset on every single planet in Space Engine, starting with Mercury and ending with Pluto. All right, so let's do it. All right, so we're gonna start with Mercury and here it is. It's a beautiful planet actually. So where's the sun? The sun is right there. You can see how beautiful it is. Anyway, so let's land on Mercury. We'll just land in like one of these craters, um, just like right here. And then we'll look around. So this is like the landscape here. And this is not a realistic lighting. This is an HDR lighting. Realistically, you're not even gonna be able to see the stars. So there's the sun. Let's play time and watch a sunset. There's the sun. We're gonna watch it go down now. And this is what a sunset looks like on Mercury. Whoa, you can see how like the further rocks. Oh, it's like pitch black now. And then we can start to see the night sky. Beautiful. So there's the entire Milky Way. So now those are look like other planets. Yeah, that's Earth right there. Venus right there and Jupiter right there. So you actually probably can zoom in enough to see. Yeah, there's the Earth and the moon. That's cool. There's Venus. And then Jupiter is this one. I don't know if we can zoom in enough. Oh, yeah, we can. Wow. And you can start to see its moon. Anyway, so we're still on Mercury. Um, it is so dark. Let's see a sunrise. Where's the sun going to come from? This direction? Whoa, wait, what's that? A comet. Wait, we're seeing a comet right now. <laughs> That's actually cool. I've never seen one in Space Engine. Whoa, that is so cool. So that's a comet in Space Engine. I've never seen one before, but that's what they look like. Super cool. Where's the sun? I feel like it should be day by now. Ah, okay. Where's the sun? It's rising somewhere. Okay, so it's gonna rise right here. Let's slow down time. Here it comes. You can start to see the sun rising on Mercury. Oh, that's cool. Okay, there we go. So that is a sunset and a sunrise on Mercury. Wow. And the view from space too, if you get the right view. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to go to Venus. Let's go. Okay, here's Venus. This is Venus without the clouds. With the clouds, it looks more like this. Um, we're going to do a sunrise without the clouds, I think, because with the clouds, you can't even see the sun. So let's find a good spot. This area looks pretty good. Go land here on the surface of Venus. And it looks like we've got a yellow, very yellow sky. Okay, so there's the sun, which, okay, it, we're going for the sunset first. Here it comes, coming down on Venus. Whoa, it starts to shift blue. Yeah, we get a blue sunset on Venus. And there it goes underneath the horizon. Wow. Okay. That is a blue Venus sunset. So that's what a sunset would look like on Venus. And then it should start to get dark. I wonder how well you can see the stars on Venus because we don't have, we have super thick clouds. That's about how well you can see them. That's not very good. And then if you turn on the clouds, you probably can't even see them at all. Yeah, you can't. This is Venus with its clouds. You can't see any stars at all. So <laughs> Venus would not be good for stargazing. So now let's watch a sun rise on Venus and see if it also is blue. Here comes the sun. Whoa, okay, so everything kind of turns blue right before sunrise and then we can start to see a little bit of the sun come out. And there we go. There's our sunrise. It Look, it looks blue. This is zoomed in from Venus. Our sun looks blue, completely blue. That is super cool actually, what an atmosphere can do to the appearance of a star. Okay, so that is a sunset and sunrise on Venus. Now we're gonna go to Earth and see what it looks like in Space Engine. Okay, so here's Earth. Again, we're gonna have the clouds off because we can have them on. Actually, let's do clouds on. Let's pick a good spot. Um, this area, is this China? Looks decent. Get some mountains. That could be cool. Yeah, okay, this is looking like Earth. Where's our sun? Right there. And we're gonna watch a sunset now. So let's get on top of this mountain here. Take a look at our grass and we can watch a beautiful sunset in this little mountain range. All right, look at that view. So there's our sun. Let's have it go down a little bit faster. This is 100 times the speed of real life. And so this is what a sunset looks like on Earth. We can see it go down behind that mountain. Very orange, which I mean, 
we're all used to that a very orange bright orange sunset and then right as it goes down it almost is red the clouds are looking pretty good actually i mean some places they're like broken but it's not bad and then a little bit after the sun goes down it'll start to turn fully into nighttime and then we can see stars so like there's the constellation orion and other things there's the pleiades right there that little section um and so the way space engine works it like adjusts your exposure so we can still see this orange for quite a long time we're gonna need to climb this mountain the sunrise is gonna be over here you can already see it starting so now let's wait for our sunrise and see how well that looks beautiful very similar to the sunset and there it goes and now we're in day beautiful blue sky that we're all used to okay so now we're gonna go to mars and mars has a super thin atmosphere but it also has moons so i want to see what it would look like from its moon so let's go okay so here's mars honestly pretty cool let's go look i want to be in like one of these cool spots where they have a lot of depth and canyons and stuff okay so it's actually right before sunset so this is perfect let's go right here and we're gonna watch that sun go down so it's like kind of orange, uh, a little bit red so far in our sunset. And then right as the sun is going down, it almost turns white. Like what is the sun? If we zoom in, it almost has a bluish tint. So it like, yeah, it makes it almost white as it goes down, which is cool. So this is a sunset on Mars. And there it goes. And now let's see what the night sky looks like on Mars. Okay, so this is pretty dark. This is what your night sky might look like on Mars. It's kind of hard to see. If we turn our exposure down, this is more realistic because there's going to be light from the sun coming. So this is kind of what you would probably see. A few stars. You can see a faint hue of the Milky Way. If you turn up the exposure, you might be able to see it. Kind of. And now let's see what our sunrise is going to look like on Mars. Okay, here it comes. It almost turns blue again, just like Venus right before the sunrise. And then right here, yeah, look, it's like blue. Right in this area that we're at. It's definitely blue. That's cool. That's weird. I would never would have thought that Mars's sunrise would have turned everything blue. And you can see there comes the sun up. And then we're back to a normal day on Mars. Now I just quickly want to see what it might look like from one of Mars's moons. So here's Phobos. Let's just quickly land on Phobos. So here's kind of our view from Phobos. Let's see what like a sunset would look like. Or I guess kind of like an eclipse. This might be cool. Like that? You can see the sun get covered by Mars. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna go to Jupiter. Jupiter doesn't really have a surface, but we're gonna kind of still see what it might look like. Okay, here's Jupiter. So Jupiter is a gas giant, so it doesn't really have a surface, but we can kind of fly inside of its clouds like this and then still watch a sunset. So let's see what that might look like. So we're kind of on the surface of Jupiter right now. We're in this little band. And if we zoom in, we're gonna see what a sunset would look like. It looks very similar to Earth, actually. We got like a blue sky. There's one of its moons. And then as it gets closer, it turns more and more red. Yeah, look, whoa. I did not think that the, that's a sunset on Jupiter. I did not think it would look that similar to Earth. That's pretty cool. And you, there you go, you can see Jupiter's rings. So Jupiter does have rings and you can see them during the night. There is one of its moons. So that is pretty cool to see. There is Jupiter's rings and then they get cut off because that's the shadow of the planet. They're still there though. And now we're going to watch a sunrise on Jupiter. Okay, so the sun's starting to come and you can see it starts to turn red just like it did on Earth. We're going to zoom in here. You can see the ring there. That is cool. And here comes the sun for the sunrise. Boom, there it is. Okay, sunrise on Jupiter. That's what it could look like. I mean, we wouldn't be able to stand on it, but if you were in Jupiter's atmosphere, that's what it might look like. Pretty cool. And then there's our view of Jupiter from space, which is just awesome. Now we're gonna go to Saturn, which has really big rings, so it'll be cool to see. Wow, here's Saturn. It's so beautiful with its rings. Okay, I wanna go in a spot where we can see its rings, but we're not going to be covered by the rings. So like right here. Okay, we're kind of in Saturn's atmosphere now and you can see there's the ring system. Wow, okay, where's our sun? There's the sun, so we're gonna watch it 
set now. It's going this way. Okay, here we go, watch the sunset. So it looks like it'll be pretty similar to Jupiter because we got like the blue sky. Yeah, so it turns more and more red as it gets down. But it's gonna be dimmer the further you go out because the planets are further and further away. And there's the sunset with a super orange, reddish, beautiful sunset. And then we got these bright rings. These are way brighter than Jupiter's were. So now let's wait for the sunrise. All right, here it comes. And there we go. There's a sunrise on Saturn. Very cool to see with its rings and everything. And we zoom out and see Saturn again from space. Awesome. You can see how big Saturn's rings really are. They stretch out all the way here. They're just way dimmer there. Super cool. Okay, now we're gonna go to Uranus, which has rings that are kind of like vertical. You'll see, I'm, I'll show you. Boom, okay, Uranus has rings that are kind of up and down. I mean, there is no up or down in space, but compared to the plane of its orbit, like it's pretty up and down. Okay, so let's say, see if we can get rings on this in this shot too. Let's see how close the atmosphere is going to look. This one looks a little bit thicker. Okay, where's the sun? And the sun gets smaller and smaller the further we go out. So let's watch this sunset. It looks like it's going to be more pink. Yeah, this is more, I swear it's more pink than the other gas giants were. And that, whoa, yeah, like we're getting almost purple colors here. Pink and purple that we were not getting on the other ones. So that is what a sunset on Uranus would look like. And we get a beautiful sunset, like post sunset twilight. Look at that. This might be my favorite one we've seen so far with these rings behind us right here. That just looks awesome. And it looks like the place I got doesn't really have a good, like the sun rises right next to where it sets. So now we're going to get the sunrise too. Same thing, essentially just in reverse. And then we have a thicker but beautiful blue sky on a blue planet. Okay, now we're gonna do Neptune, which is the last planet we're gonna do, but we are gonna do Pluto because everybody loves Pluto. You can see there's a little ring right there on Neptune, but let's go right here. This looks good to me. How's our atmosphere looking on here? Darker blue than the rest, definitely darker blue. So I'm interested to see what colors will come from this sunset. Here it comes. More yellow, it looks like. Yeah, it looks more yellow than the other ones. It's like the opposite of Uranus. Uranus was too much red and this one's not enough red. Right after the sunset, yeah, we only get like a deep orange. We never get to that full red color. Um, but a beautiful sunset truly is beautiful. Now we're just in complete darkness until that sun comes back up and let's wait for that. Okay, here it comes. Start to get that yellow orangeness again and then I bet it'll go yeah super yellow right as it rises and then it goes back into this deep blue sky a lot darker blue than the rest of them all right so that's all of our planets now we just got to do Pluto um everyone's favorite dwarf planet beautiful Pluto really is beautiful so let's go to this spot looks looks pretty and we're kind of in the hills so Pluto has a super thin atmosphere, it looks like, because if I turn it off, it's just that. But then on, we get a little bit of blue. So I wonder how that's going to affect this sunset. So it looks like it's going in a circle. Did we even get a spot where we can have a sunset? Oh, a little bit, yeah. So we get a super blue sunset, and then it'll rise again right here. It just is going in this circle. So it looks like we didn't land on the best spot of Pluto to get a good sunset. But that is what it might look like. Super blue and almost white on the actual sun how does the sun look from here the sun is so far away from pluto all right so that is a sunrise and sunset on every single planet including pluto if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like on it so i know you enjoyed it leave suggestions for more things you want me to try in space engine in the comments below you guys are awesome and thank you for watching